Hey guys, welcome back to Sparks and Recreation. In today's video, we bought a race car. So what is this thing? Well, if you're anything like me and you like mid-90s weird cars, this is a 94 SL2 Saturn, or it started as that. At the beginning of this race season, it showed that there were no Enduros in all of New York, which means that for me to race, I have to travel halfway across the country to go take my little beat-up Honda Fit and try to race with the big boys. I kept finding cars on Marketplace and Craigslist in listed on these four cylinder pages and every time I call on it I'd be like oh well it's not actually race ready it doesn't come with anything or it'll race as long as you just put a couple motors together put a tranny in it and put some bearings in it like it's fine and then I only want seven grand I'm like I'm not paying seven grand for something that's either blown up needs to be put together or whatever I've been whining and whining about it I cried about this problem to my buddy Zach who has helped me find a car over and over and over and eventually he goes you know what I'm building a car anyway he's building a a newer cobalt he's raced this thing all over the northeast this is probably one of the fastest saturns that but nobody even runs saturns anymore except for him but he's fast he still somehow is knocking on doors of hondas beating the eco tax he got second in this at our local tracker brewerton only about a week ago so i know this car is fast and he goes you know what pay me what i want for it i'll sell you the car and i'll give you all the guidance which is the most important thing not only is it a race ready car, my buddy Zach says, I'll help you with anything you need because he's awesome like that. He's helped me with Enduros for the last like two years. I've obviously been faster when he's there helping me. So if he's willing to help even a little bit with this thing, with setups, with what I should be doing, and he's also a Saturn Master Tech, GM Master Tech, how could I say no to a car that I know that he can pilot the second place and win championships and stuff with? If I can't, it's my own fault. This thing's been a full-blown race car since I think, I wanna say the, the first stickers of winning are on like, like 06. So this thing's been to hell and back, but look how straight it is. Obviously it's been rebodied a couple times. It's a plastic Saturn. So when something breaks, you just get more plastic and bolt it on. But underneath there's no rot. It's in wicked good shape. My plan for it is hopefully next week there's a graphics place that's supposed to wrap the car for us with our logos, our sponsors. Obviously Zach's Auto Shack is going to stay on the car because, you know, Zach hooked me up. The rules in the Northeast for most of these is it must be stock appearing, quote unquote. So as far as everybody knows, this is stock. It appears stock. It's got stock tranny, stock motor, stock head, stock... Pretty much, uh, you can run a header and you run an intake, but for the most part, it's very, very basic, very simple. He says to rebuild the motor to what the specs is at now, it would cost you less than a thousand bucks. Where I've been looking at K-Series Hondas, Ecotex, you're talking two to four to ten thousand dollars to be competitive. And with this thing that weighs nothing and it handles surprisingly well, I haven't ridden it yet. I plan on hopefully not this Friday, but next Friday. I got my dirt car membership. Hopefully I have all my safety equipment. The only thing I don't have a tra is a transponder. I gotta figure that out. Um, but this thing should be ready to rip. This is, I bought it as it was pulled off the track last Friday night. I put a tie rod end on it that he actually even provided the tie rod end. We pulled some of the rear steer out of it because I've never driven this car. I've never even driven an actual race other than like Enduros. So, I've got 
a small amount of rear steer in it still, but it's way less than it was. I'm gonna try attempting it the way it is. We'll see what it does. I'm hoping my goal is just not get last. <laughs> In all seriousness, this car shouldn't get last, but my actual goal is stay on the lead lap. Even if that's 10th, 12th, 20th, I don't even know how many. I haven't been to a four-cylinder race at Brewerton in probably like 10 years. So I don't know how many cars show up. I don't know how many other cars are in this type of condition, power range, driver capability. I might just get completely smoked. But this is part of the adventure. A couple of housekeeping things I do want to get going on this is we have water temp, which is important. We have oil temp, but every, the other gauges are not currently hooked up and functioning properly. It's got a decent fuel pump in it. That should be good. He did say the power steering pump is getting weak. Uh, I've got to, you know, put power steering pump on it at some point, but I probably won't until it actually shits the bed because why spend more money when everything's working as it should? So that's the basic hey this is the car hopefully next time you see it it'll be different looking with some of our sponsors we have a couple guys that are committed but have not paid yet so once i get a hold of them to have them pay we'll start announcing sponsors and you'll be getting your names and your businesses put into some of the videos as we go you're kind of documenting how this whole thing goes and man i kind of wish that i had an sl2 that was this clean just to drive because I cannot believe it's been raced for as long as it has. It's got these nice little door bars and everything to keep it nice and safe. Underneath the plastics, there's some bars underneath there too, so that hopefully, if I get run into or I do a little bumping on accident, I don't completely waffle the car. So any of you guys have been following along, watching our Enduros over the years, I do have a couple Enduros planned this year, but one's, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it because it's like midday on a Wednesday and it's Atlanta Legends. And honestly, the last time I raced there was a complete mud fest. It wasn't fun at all. And the big race of the year for the Enduros that me, Maggie, my, par my, my dad wants to race it, my brother wants to race it. We're going to bring a bunch of cars down to Carolina Speedway in September. I'm not going to wait all year to race. So we can pick this thing up for fairly cheap, go out, have some fun on the weekends, document it. You can follow along. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, uh, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.